Alright, what's going on? So, in my opinion, this build, I think it's the best 6'6 build, and it's a really good park build, besides like a 6'8 or 6'9 build, like that, those are obviously really good, but this is a really good 6'6 build. You can go shooting guard, small forward, or power forward. You can't go point guard because of the weight. Um, this just changes the build name. I like power forward personally because it gives you a kind of like more catfishy build name that doesn't reveal much about your build. That's why I like it. So I want power forward. Hand this. Go right or left. That is personal preference. Number. Just go whatever you want. For the height, you're going to want to go 6'6". Six, six. Weight, you're going to go 231. And then for your wingspan, 7'3". This will unlock Silver Bully with the weight and everything. I want to find. Well, but you could go compact. I want to find. So let's start off with the dunk. For your dunk, you're going to take that all the way up to 93. This is going to get you Gold Posterizer, Gold Limitless, Gold Giant Slayer. Like. If you learn how to use the dunk meter, you can literally dunk on anybody. Like, you also get uh, elite contacts with this. And then for your layup, go 76. This gets you acrobat on silver, so like, you don't have to run acrobat, but I would. And you get fearless finisher on bronze, so you can make honestly up to like 20% contested layups, I'd say, consistently. And then uh, close shot, just keep that at a 56. For your three-pointer, you're going to go to 85. This gets you a silver limitless, which is, like, really helpful compared to bronze. This will be able to allow you to shoot from, like, cash. I can shoot way behind there with a takeover. But, and then for your mini, uh, midi, you go to 70. Your free throw, stay at 60. And then your pass accuracy, take this up to an 80. Really, you don't need it this high. Like, 75 is fine. But I like 80 gold dimer, gold floor general, gold break starter, and Hall of Fame special delivery. You get a lot of good badges uh, for like passing. And your ball handle takes up to 90. If you really want it, I guess you could go 92. I will show a different version of this build a little later in the video. Uh, how to make it a little bit more like playmaking, more finishing, stuff like that. And then, uh, uh, speed with ball, 85. This is, well, I made this build the day the game came out. Like, this was my first build. So, and I'll say, you honestly need, like, you could go with an 80, but I think 85 is, like, really good stuff. Interior defense, you want to go ahead and put that to a 55. Your perimeter goes to a 70. Let's get you bronze clamps. And then your steel, take this up to 72. You could also put more defense on this build, which I'll show you, because the defense isn't bad, but you could definitely get way better defense. Uh, you want to go 75 for your block. This will get your gold chase down. And then put your defensive rebound to 32. You're going to, for your speed, go 82. Honestly, this build, is, I don't really get, unless people do like some like glitchy speed boost, most of the time people aren't getting past me that much on defense. So, and then your ball, Excel, goes to 81. Your strength, you're going to max it out to 82. This will allow you to get a uh, silver bully, which is, I mean, if it activates, you literally get a wide open layup, so that's really good. And then vertical, hey, it's at 82. I originally have made this build on next gen. And then I didn't realize that you're, I didn't realize that uh, you didn't need a high vertical on current gen. Like your dunk packages don't need vertical on current gen. So yeah, I'm going to show you that you can really take this down pretty low. And then a 96 stamina. Like literally you never run out of stamina. And then I would just go ahead and put this extra attribute. I'll say interior. But oh wait, oh no, never mind. I don't know why it isn't working. Is that? And then this goes up to 58. Um. But yeah. So this is the uh, this version of the bill. 
you get really good takeovers. Uh, basically, all the good ones besides like defensive ones. I got sharp and slash probably. That's what I have on my build right now. And then, as you can see, face up playmaker. That's what you get for making it a uh, power forward position. Cause like, if you see that in park, all it reveals is that you're gonna be able to like have good playmaking, obviously. But most builds have this playmaking that this build has. So, and then how I would remake it, I would take your three. Honestly, I said take it down to eighty if you wanted other stuff higher. And then take your midi down to a 65 and your free throw down to a 55. Because you still get silver blinders and it's like every like pretty good badges. The only thing you really don't get is agent 3 on silver and limitless range on silver. And then like some, like some of these you get hall of fame. Uh, or not hall of fame but gold. And then I'll take the pass accuracy down to a 75. Your speed with ball down to an 80. Your vertical down to like a 71, or not 71, but 73. So then you still get the 93 dunk. And then, honestly, you could honestly take your stamina down to 90 or 95, like 92. I'd say 92 for now. And then I would put my layup up to like an 85 or 87, so you get gold fearless. Maybe 92 ball handle. Or, there's really no point in getting the block up because you don't get silver anchor. I said 85 steel. Interior go to 70. Perimeter go to 76. Uh, so you get that gold ankle braces. Then I'll just say your defensive rebound. Honestly, if you want this build to like not be as good at shooting, like if you can really shoot a 75 three pointer and you feel comfortable with that. I say go ahead and do this right here, 75 3. And then also, you can take that down, but I said 92 for now. Uh, just so you get some drill. Or wait, now. I don't think it's really worth it because you don't get this like curry behind the back or nothing since it's 6 6. I'll take this up to 70. So you get that uh, bronze rebound chaser. And then make a close shot up a little. And then like a 90 layup is why I say it's really good. And then you can honestly take this up to like 80 if you wanted. But I say yeah, keep this right here. And maybe just a few more on the layup if you really want that. I say layups. Just keep that at 90. And I guess you can maybe do one more dunk if you want. Or you could keep this at 87 and then go up to 95 dunk. <coughs> but then you don't get the... Uh, let me take that down to a 72. There you get Hall of Fame Limitless if you want that. Except your pass accuracy isn't as good. You can honestly slide with 70 pass accuracy if you really want it. Because uh, there's no pass styles on here. I'd say like 70. I'd say 65 minimum if you're going to change that even more. But then... Yeah, i say you can honestly put your 3 up a little. Maybe go down to 65. 77 3-pointer. And you could just bump this up back a little. I say that's how I would make it if I wasn't going how it was before, because this one gets a little bit better defense, and then also way better dunk and layup. Which the dunks are actually pretty good at 93, but the layup, layup, I say put the layup up, and then you could get 79 three actually, or right here. I'm going to take this down a little. I'm just going to take this to 55. Put it out to 80. Mm. Honestly, just say, yeah, maybe put your uh, stamina up to 93. And then you do get less takeovers. That's the only bad thing. But you're going to be a bit better on defense and your lip is going to be way better than also, your dunk will be a little better. But, I mean, if you know how to use dunk meter with a 93 dunk, you should be able to dunk on, like, almost everyone. Like, if I have slash and takeover, I can consistently dunk on centers with rim takeover. Unless they have, like, a you know, 99 block with Hall of Fame anchor, but I can dunk on them pretty easily. But, yeah, in my opinion, let's see what this build name is. Inside our shot creator. 
You got shades of Jason Tatum, Scotty Barnes, and Kyle Kuzma. So this build isn't that bad either. I said maybe go with this one, but this one's just a little bit more better on finishing and defense. But I just didn't make it at the time because this is literally my. F I just kind of made this build on day one. I just wanted to play. But yeah, I said this is the best nine six eight or six nine build. Like this is the best six six build in my opinion. But yeah. Uh, probably release a gameplay video on this one in like a week or two. I'll probably just keep making some build videos, honestly. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully you can, uh, make this build. And, honestly, I got my first, uh, 50 streak with this build in 2K23. So, i say it's decent. And the person I was playing with was on like a 80 overall, too. So, it's not like we had two 99s. But yeah, I hope you, this build will help you guys if you need a good 6-6 build. It's very versatile. Like You can really do everything with it. And yeah, it's pretty good. Peace.